we do the test because we want to one record the interictal activity that means what is the activity of the brain between seizures mm. when the person is awake when the person is sleeping when the person is thinking when the person is eating when the person is just natural so you mean to say you are keeping this guy for a full on. day not not just day, day seven days seven three, days two days seven three days, days four days five days the I camera is in for front. 10 days the camera is no, he's like this uh, what this show goes on like right? big boss big boss, big boss. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a big boss who gets seizures once a month but it is disabling and uh, disrupts their normal life you can't get in one day record yeah so then we, how do you decide which when do you, when do that yeah, come I mean, in there are to, certain ways of mean, doing uh, it how do you uh, got in induce the, sense, the seizure or whatever you yeah i mean like you know if most of these people who are on uh, uh, you know for pre surgical evaluation they are on multiple medications mm -hmm. you know correct correct and uh, so we have a planned uh, reduction of their medicines uh, you withdraw the medicine before they come into the uh, got it, the, got the lab it. itself so you know depending on the frequency of mm. seizures and all that you plan mm. we plan it in such a way that you know you reduce by you know 20% on day 1 oh. uh, so it's 30, not just stop also you to, no 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 you got to phase yeah, okay. and they are on multiple medications so there are some short term medicines you can reduce the longer term medicine you have to start reducing from ah, the beginning all yeah. that got it. that's a it's a process but mm. the thing is the point is that we try to shorten the video telemetry time as much as possible in order to record at least a minimum of two seizures okay 